The Avengers number 29 was published few days ago and continued with the event of the star brand Reborn. Written by Jason Aaron and penciled by Ed McGuinness, we last saw how the Avengers were trapped in the Shi'ar prison galaxy, fighting for survival with a brood-infected Thor. Silver Surfer, who was after the star brand as well, attacked Ghost Rider, Black Widow, Boy Thing, and the weakened Blade, who has been affected by the red sunlight, and took down the Hell Charger. Some Shi'ar Empire's inmates closed in on the crashed car, and that's when Black Widow suited up in her War Widow armor. Our book for today opens with the War Widow fighting and defeating the Shi'ar inmates. She demands to know where the star brand is, and when the inmate was about to tell her, he was incinerated by the Silver Surfer, who interfered, saying that the Avengers do not get to find the star brand. Black Widow tells the surfer that they are not on the opposite sides, but she is wearing a war machine armor designed by Tony Stark, and she is ready to fight. Surfer, however, knocked her away. In the Hell Charger, Ghost Rider was still knocked unconscious and jacked directly into the car in order to heal. Boy Thing suddenly merged with the weakened blade. Meanwhile, Surfer says that he does not wish to harm Black Widow, but the destiny of the Star Brand has been decided. Suddenly, Surfer was stabbed from behind by Blade, who merged with the boy Thing, saying that the sting which the Surfer felt is called fear, and whoever knows fear burns at the touch of the boy Thing. Black Widow asks how Blade is not burning to, but Blade says that he is burning, but he would prefer to burn than to fade away in the back seat of the Hell Charger. Blade and Black Widow then joined forces to fight the Surfer, when they suddenly saw the star brand. Meanwhile, a few light years away, Captain Marvel is fighting Fire Lord and She-Hulk is fighting Terex the Tamer. Captain America hits Terex with his shield from behind, asking She-Hulk not to let Terex destroy the Avengers ship. Terex, however, blasted Captain America and said that he is controlling a storm of asteroids that will destroy the ship. The brood-infected Thor tried to protect the ship and started smashing the falling asteroids. She-Hulk then blasted Terex with her gamma power, which she learned how to control after wearing that suit which was designed by Black Panther. Suddenly, Thor came crashing into the ship after he was overwhelmed by the falling asteroids. Captain America, however, encouraged him, saying that he is the strongest brood there is, and that it's time to feed. Meanwhile, Captain Marvel was still fighting Fire Lord when they saw the star brand which has been unleashed. Gladiator, who had already found the star brand, commanded the female host to stand down, but she just blasted him. She said that she did not ask for this power, which came out of nowhere when she was on the transport ship. Gladiator said that she is a prisoner, in control of one of the most powerful weapons in the universe, and this can't be allowed. The woman said that she did not mean to burn all these planets, but when the pain comes, she just can't control it. Gladiator then declared that he sentenced the pregnant woman to die, with the woman urging Gladiator to stay away, or that she will set the entire galaxy on fire. As usual, the battles have not been completed, but in my opinion, Silver Surfer would defeat Black Widow and Blade, Captain Marvel would defeat Fire Lord, and She-Hulk would defeat Terex. The cover of the next issue shows that Thor will be cured from his infection, and Blade seemingly regains his full power. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.